Hello and welcome to Reptiles and Research. So let's talk about bearded dragons shedding. So bearded dragons naturally shed as they grow. They don't continuously shed skin cells like we do humans. So they have to do big partial sheds in one big go. So bearded dragons are dry shedders. What that means is they're not like snakes that want a little humid microclimate or a humidity box to help them shed. Bearded dragons can go for dry temperatures and bask and do all that stuff and just shed just fine. Bearded dragons have evolved to know how to shed. They know how to deal with it. Yeah, it can be quite irritating and itchy to them, but they know how to deal with their shed. The only time you need to help them with their shed, if it's a really sick dragon that's in a dire state and they're like, their body's so bad that they can't do it themselves. But if you've got a healthy bearded dragon, you don't need to be tugging on the skin. You don't need to be pulling bits off. It will naturally come off on its own. And if your diet is really good and the nutrition is there, they're going to be perfectly fine in shedding that skin. You don't need to bathe them to get the skin off. In fact, if you bathe them and it's kind of half loose and like moisture gets underneath, then bacteria can grow in the crevices before the skin comes off. So you're better off just leaving it to go dry and let them do it themselves. So your husbandry doesn't really need to change. Just make sure they have their water bowl and they're eating their greens and they're eating their bugs and they're getting the hydration and you'll be absolutely fine. There's no need to panic about them shedding. They will do shedding themselves. All you got to do is keep on top of their hydration, on top of their supplementation, and on top of their diet, make sure their nutrition's really good, and you're golden. They'll sort themselves out. You might be tempted because you've seen some videos on the internet to like peel this off of them. When you do that, you can actually injure your bearded dragon for skin that's not ready to come off yet. They do it partially and in stages. So you don't really want to do this to them. You let them get on with it. So how bearded dragons shed is you see part of their body will start going white and that's that skin getting ready from the separation of barriers to peel off and come away. That's perfectly normal. You don't need to panic if you see like a bearded dragon like it's got a white patch or something. It's absolutely fine. It just needs to go through the motions and shed nicely. The ways that you can help your bearded dragon shed naturally is make sure you have some rough objects in their environment to rub on where it's, it's incredibly itchy process for them so if you've got a nice like rough rock they can rub the head on and, and rub their shed off or uh, rub their butt on it or their tail or something like that so it's abrasive and allows it to come off if you've got this like sort of benign like non-abrasive environment and everything's like smooth and it's really difficult for them to rub on things then you might find that they find trouble and they find it quite irritating and frustrating that they can't get it off properly so make sure you've got a nice like rough branch or a nice bit of cork or a nice log and they should be able to use that to shed just fine that's exactly what they're meant to do it's what they're born to do and trust me if you let them crack on they'll do it just fine i hope this was helpful to you we have plenty of other dragon guides on the channel Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.